Hey guys, Dana here, and today what I'm going to do is show you how to tweak GNOME 3 in order to look like GNOME 2, or just basically give it your own personal customi customization. So, first off, what we're going to do is go to the Ubuntu Software Center. Screencast-O-Matic isn't working as well as I thought, but it's doing the job, so what I'm doing now is using Sound Recorder, recording a separate audio track. Honestly, if anybody knows a really good screen recorder for Ubuntu Linux, please let me know. Alright, and next what we're going to do is type in Advanced Settings. Let's see, and here it is, Advanced Settings. So basically what this does, it's like I said, it, it tweaks GNOME 3 to make it look like GNOME 2 or, you know, give it your, you know, bring back the themes. Here, I'll just show you. And then once you're down installing it go to the dash and type in advanced or if you see you have it under your applications menu just go under other and then here it is all right here's what it looks like now this is the normal y Ubuntu uh, look so right now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna customize it to my own likings <laughs> all right under desktop you can basically customize what certain icons that are not here. So, for example, if you wanted to have it show your hard drives, that you turn on this. Or let's see, for example, trash. Here is the home icon, and then here is your computer icon. Very useful. And then here is where you get to edit the text of the whole operating system. I'm not gonna mess with this. You can mess with it. It it does what exactly what it sounds like. Shell. This is where you get to edit where let's see you get to edit what it does if you have your laptop lid closed or let's see show the calendars etc etc it tweaks a lot of things in inside the date times and stuff shell extensions there's nothing here theme now this is what I've been looking for for a long time alright so this is where you get to choose your overall theme of Ubuntu and here is actually all of the, th the previous themes that were lost in Addy Norwalt, but here they are in Ocelot. So, for example, let's just choose that. Now, as you see, this this chooses the window theme, but you can ch you can change it for the overall theme too. For example, I'm just going to do. Let's see. Oh, that doesn't look good. Um. Let's do ambience for a little bit. Uh. Oh wait. See here, here you can choose the cursor. I'm gonna do red light glass. I had that before. Key binding. Not sure exactly what that means. Icon. I'm gonna choose gnomes. Yeah, this change, this changes right. This right here changes the overall icons. What, what represents and what doesn't represents. Like the folder icons, for example, you can change it to high contrast. I'm gonna leave it at high contrast. Uh, yeah, this pretty much changes everything within gnome. And then here is where you get to choose ah the overall all um, theme. Like here's radiance. Here's uh, relay. Here's Adedawa. And then windows. Yeah, these basically choose the uh, uh, resizing settings of the windows. So overall. Here's what you were looking for if um, you needed to switch back to GNOME 2. And when you get to the login screen, you can actually change it to Ubuntu Classic. I'm not joking. It works, but it looks a little bit ugly. So, I'll see you guys later. 